Welcome everyone to this video. Today we're going to be looking at the Torxim Pocket Rocket um, aircraft and it's a long distance plane that is also capable of some pretty crazy aerobatics. So we're going to take a quick look at the systems at the G1000 that's in it and we'll do a full flight. I'm also going to demonstrate the synthetic vision and VNAV functionality. So we'll get it switched on. Battery avionics i love this startup sequence here it's super detailed and super realistic i think it's very cool um the, the job that talks him have done with the g1000s in their products it's a much more or it seems to be a much more realistic experience so the first thing you notice is that the ground now actually looks like the ground and this is part of the synthetic vision system which we're going to see a little bit later on so we're just going to make our flight plan. So this is the same as the default G1000s. We're going from North Wales Airfield in Essex in England. And we're going to fly over to Cardiff Airport in Wales today. We're going to pick an approach and an arrival because I just want to demonstrate how this can fly uh, procedures with the altitude constraints, the same as any airliner can. We'll set some minimums here as well. We'll set about 150 feet on uh, the barometer altitude. So there we go, we've got our flight plan there. All good. And it takes us into right onto the runway at Cardiff Airport there. So if we go over to the MFD here, you can see we've got our flight plan on the right hand side. What we're going to do is just check we've got the altitudes for the um, for the approach committed there, because this will form part of the VNAV procedure later on. So that's all looking good. So we'll start this up. I generally set the prop uh, feather to about a quarter of the way in. The X-plane mouse manipulators are still a nightmare. I set the of fuel to sort of low idle and start the engine up. And that's it. So the shaking effect is from XP Realistic. I'm not really sure if it's a little bit too much, but it's still worth running XP Realistic on this because you get the sort of camera tilting and the acceleration effects there. So we'll taxi out to the runway and you'll be able to see some of the better uh, synthetic vision features as we get closer to the runway. So we just parked on the grass at the moment. Uh, North World is just a general aviation airfield. So as we're on the runway here, you can see that the runway is actually displayed on the synthetic vision in front of us. So it's a cool feature to have for situational awareness. But it's not really, I don't know if this is just in the sim or if it's also in real life, but it's not really accurate enough to actually land using, um, using that runway on the synthetic vision there. So as we park up here, make sure we're all set. going to configure the autopilot as well. Uh, just before we go, so we set the flight director, desired altitude, vertical speeds, all that lovely stuff. And the cool thing you'll see is a flight path will appear on the synthetic vision once we get into the sky. So here we go. Set and rotate and autopilot. And we're on our way. So this plane, like I said, for quite an aerobatic aircraft, it's also got quite big fuel tanks. I think it can fly something like 1,500, 1,600 nautical miles, and it's insanely fast as well. It will get up. It will cruise at about 250 plus knots, which is pretty crazy. And it also gets up to speed really fast as well. So it's kind of a plane that can do literally everything. I bought this in the sale instead of the Hotstart TVM 
because this was cheaper but this kind of does does much more and when we fly this thing in some more challenging situations later on you'll be able to see that it, it kind of really holds its own so you can see appearing there at the top of the PFD is a flight path sort of a virtual flight path like you'd see in an arcade game and that is currently set at the altitude we're meant to cruise at so as we come up to the cruising altitude here you can see we're, we're going to start flying through um, this flight path so as far as I know the flight path displays uh, horizontal guidance so it will display your, your flight path to your destination at whatever altitude you set I can't get it to display vertical guidance on there as well sometimes it will appear on an ILS approach but I can't get it to appear for the uh, VNAV functionality I don't know if I'm just missing something or, or if it just doesn't doesn't do it at least in the sim so we'll head over to the uh, VMFD here and we're going to pop into the flight plan um, we're just going to commit a new altitude here of 3000 feet so this is the start of um, the star so we're going to set that in our flight plan, set the altitude for that in our flight plan um, and that will activate our VNAV functionality in the aircraft so that's it, all the altitudes are set we are good to go, we're on our way so we're going to try and pull a barrel roll here, or an aileron roll and there we go. It's a, it's a super aerobatic plane, um, considering how good it is at long distance flying as well. Right, so we're also going to set an additional altitude here so we've set the sort of 8,000 feet uh, near the waypoint before the entry to the star because the more accurate VNAV guidance we have uh, the better so once we get near our top of descent we set the altitude um, on our PFD to the minimum altitude we're going to be flying at and then we press the VNAV button and that will start us on uh, the vertical path here so you can see as we've hit our top of descent that the airplane will now start descending to the new height Okay, so we're now on approach so the approach is basically just your your standard um, ILS approach so once you hit sort of the, the intercept point or the final point and that's when you go over to the localizer capture mode at the moment we're just flying towards the intercept point here And then when you hit that localizer, once you press the approach button and switch the nav source over to, um, to nav radio, it just flies the ILS like any other any other aircraft. So you can see that it's following it will follow the glide slope here. It's just like um, just like a normal approach and then any other G1000 equipped plane. But I just wanted to show off sort of the features for this specific aircraft you can see the synthetic vision in front of us it's a really cloudy day but the terrain in front of us is clearly displayed 
i want to just demonstrate the vivino functionality which is also available in the default g one thousand and i just wanted to show you guys the plane and what it can do as well so as we come through the clouds here you can see that the runway hasn't yet appeared on the pfd because it is actually um, still quite far away even though it looks it looks super super close to the human eye and this is why you can't really use the runway on the synthetic vision to land so as we try and land the aircraft manually we've switched the autopilot off got a little bit of a crosswind but it's a really stable really stable aircraft to fly just bring it down gently And there we go, a good landing. So that is the TorxSim Pocket Rocket aircraft. It's available from X Aviation. Until recently it was available for, it might still be available at this price. And when I bought it, it was $24. I think the usual retail price is $45. So if you can get it for cheap, it's a real bargain. But you can see here um, on the synthetic vision that the runway doesn't always necessarily uh, line up with the physical runway and again that's why you shouldn't rely on it for landing I think in a real plane it's probably a little bit more accurate so we're just going to park it up on the grass here and do the super quick shutdown procedure and that will be the end of today's flight Okay, so with it parked up, what I've got to do is just turn the fuel to the engine off, and switch it off. And again, those mouse manipulators, they go left and right, even though you're pulling something up and down, the manipulator still goes left and right, which is completely stupid. But that's x -plane for you. Okay, so just switch off... Um, generator avionics finally uh, the batteries and you can see the g5 i think in the left hand side just switching itself off and there we go thank you for watching <laughs>